M0FXB, welcome back to the channel. Let's take a look at the Lilygo TM Bed ESP32 module with an SI4732 radio board installed. Now this, this can do a lot more than be, you know, we've seen these SI4732 receivers, which are excellent by the way. That one's actually got Wi-Fi and it will link to my PC with, with certain firmware. So again, this one has some bespoke firmware that you can install, but at the moment it's just got a very basic version of this. Let me just take the module and everything that's in the box out. So you get the instructions. They also give you a link for a 3D stand, you know, like that one you're seeing in the background. And it's a nice quality box and you and you get an antenna as well that we're seeing here. So there's our module. Rotary knob on off there, reset button, antenna. And watch this. Let me just pull. It's only magnets. Look at that. And that's the actual board there. Which I could take out just with these screws here, but I don't think I'm going to do that in this video. Battery there, probably 3.7 volts. And because it's one of these ESP32 boards and the model is C1101, um, there's lo lots of different projects you can do with this. But anyway, let's show you the default firmware that's in there, or the software. We'll get the antenna on there here. But we have got a, a shortwave antenna that I can also, but this is the one that comes with it. Just your usual budget one. And you're, you're going to receive, we just press and hold this button here. Oh, I've reset it, but it doesn't matter, it'll come on now. Straight away into broadcast radio. And you turn the encoder, and then if you press once, you get one lot of functions. So if we move to, let's go to 40 meters. We're there, this times out, and then now we can tune. And if I now add my 40 meter antenna, which is basically a 66 foot length of wire, 49 to one balance. Press again twice, and then we'll go to mode. Oops, you gotta be quick. This is why it's the people change the firmware. There's a lot of pressing. There's a bandwidth and fine tune. We want mode. Let's find it. There is their mode, uh, and then we go to. LSB. Let me just quickly connect my antenna. Not sure there's any activity. We press and again and then go down to volume. Press. Just up it a bit. Let that time out. Now you get the chuffing because it's DSP ultimately and that you get that with, with budget DSP devices. I notice in shortwave this isn't responding. We're getting a small signal meter there. Yeah, not much activity today, that's a shame, isn't it? But if we go to broadcast, there'll be lots. So you've got shortwave, medium wave, long wave, I'm pretty sure you've got long wave. I'm not seeing anything like airband. If we double press, look at the function, you've got CB there, and 10 meters. See that? I would say, probably not FM, let's try it. Two presses. See the way it just gets a bit confusing when you double press. Mode. I'll change to FM, it just doesn't select it. See that, it sort of skips it, yeah. Okay, as we said, yeah, we didn't think it would. I mean, it's got a speaker at the top, it's got a reset button at the top there, just press that, it just literally resets. It doesn't factory reset. You've got of the built-in battery there, so there's your USB-C charging. It's a very nice looking, customizable device and I'm pretty sure you'll be able to buy the SI4732 board separate. Now you've got to be careful with it when you're loading the firmware because the firmware that's on here has been designed for this particular model and hardware. So I did actually try and put some firmware, uh, this firmware, uh, 
but and it, it just didn't work. But there is, um, if you've seen the Volos project, you know he's made some uh, some firmware especially for this, and I'll of course link that in the description, and I'll be installing it onto my model as well. But you know it's a very nice sounding device, and when you are on these bands, you can. You know you can use the the tuning dial so you're going to be completely happy with the device don't need that cover as i look as i get to do more projects on this i'll give it a go you know you press again you've got seek up and down let's go seek Ooh, let's do that again <laughs> right seek up Oh, you've got RDS. That's good, isn't it? I noticed the encoder's backwards, so... You know, it's working well, isn't it? I do like the blue. FM stereo as well. Battery logo. Band, mute. Oh, we don't want music. Double press. Almost, and again, there you go, band, mute, volume, step, let's do that one, let's step, mode, band width, AGC, soft mute, up and down, search, band, mute, let's try and just, if we just hold it, I know that turns it off, so I don't think there's any other buttons we can press at the moment, so that's it for now, I thought I'd show it. And, it, you know, it is nice looking. It's, it does, it's going to cost you more than, you could probably buy this style one now for £20. You're looking nearer 40 for the Lilygo version. But they will be using, you know, good, I don't know if they're better parts, because if you look inside these, it's, it's an SI, it's the same kind of board, isn't it? The, the SP32. But anyway, thanks for watching, more videos to come. Bye for now.